board members in the building, could you please stand so we can make out to you? All right. Before we begin our program for the evening, I have a few housekeeping items that I'd like to share with you. First, we have a reserved seating in the front for parents to sit and take pictures. There are a couple empty seats for you. <laughs> Um, to take pictures during your children's performances. We ask, we ask that you please use the seating that is available and not crowd the aisles or the floors in, in order to help our students perform at their best. We also ask that after your child's performance is finished, that you would please return to your seat to allow other parents the same opportunity. Also, we ask at the conclusion of the finale, please wait until students have returned to the seats before, before picking them up. Teachers will be on hand to assist with this missing students to the pews on your right, the empty pews that you see. Now on to the show. The June family has been a part of the RTCA family for four years, and to tribute the RTCA faculty and staff for helping their son Cato develop the spiritual tools he needs to be a respectful and responsible representative of Christ. While matriculating at RTCA, the Junes have seen their son grow and flourish, both spiritually and academically. They are amazed at the level of commitment the RTCA staff has to leading the students closer to Christ and his purpose for their lives. God is certainly moving at RTCA in a tremendous way, and the Junes are thankful for being a part of this amazing family. RTCA, please welcome Cato, Nicole, and Cato Jr. Thank you, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Um, well, on behalf of my family, Cato, little Cato, and myself, we first want to thank oh. Dr. Days and also Ms. Emmons for allowing us the opportunity to be your master and mistress of ceremony for the evening. It's always um, a blessing for us just to be in fellowship with our Reed Temple Christian Academy family. And I know that tonight is going to be amazing and we look forward to what all our young children have in store for us. To begin the program, we're going to have a scripture by Cato. We'll be reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 4, um, yes, verses 8, excuse me, through 14. Shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night, and an, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people today in the town of David. A Savior has been born to you. He, he is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cuffs and living in a manger. Suddenly a great company with the angel praising God and saying glory to God in the highest on end on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. All right, everyone, I see the wise man coming.
And now we'll have the welcome from Ryan Bolding, Ethan Smith, and Serenity Chapman. Cheetah, excuse me. Please bow your heads. 